from the hard, cold streets of Philly to the sun-kissed beaches of L.A. After a shocking off-season trade, former Flyers captain Mike Richards has a new home, a new team, Let's go. Let's go. Come on. and a new goal. Leading the Los Angeles Kings to their first Stanley Cup in franchise history. Go, go! The second act of one of hockey's fiercest competitors. Well, if you want intensity, you're getting it tonight with Richards. Mike Richards brings true grit to Tinseltown. Next on NHL 36. Wednesday, February 15th, a little after 7.30 a.m., Los Angeles Kings center Mike Richards and his dog Arnold can finally establish a normal routine after the longest road trip of the season. Arnie, go on. Every February, the Kings vacate Staples Center to make way for the Grammys. So it's like the best show to go to live. It's something we all revere and respect. Music's biggest night meant 10 grueling days on the road. Hurricanes take it away and score! And six crucial games. Score! A trip that produced a disappointing 2-3-1 and one record. How many mistakes have the Kings made tonight? For the Kings and Richards, home couldn't come soon enough even if home is very different than it has been for the last six years. An off-season trade shocked Richards and the hockey world. He was, after all, the Flyers' captain, the team's heart and soul. It's different. It's a lot different than Philly, but it's a pretty good area to wake up in every morning. Manhattan Beach is quiet. Everybody there is friendly. It's something that you get used to pretty quick. It's been nearly seven months since the trade. Richards and Arnold are indeed becoming accustomed to their new surroundings. Arnie, come on. Almost, anyway. Cut some people off here. Big game tomorrow night. Um, Phoenix is coming in, playing well. I think there's six or seven or something like that they've won. They're right behind us, so it'll be um, nice for us to get back on home ice after being two weeks on the road. Now it's coming down to uh, 25 games left, and obviously a lot of big points that we have to, to have. Richards arrives at practice just over an hour before he'll hit the ice. gives him a chance to continue the bonding process with his new teammates, a group that's one of the youngest in the league. Do you heard story time? <laughs> Before I came, everyone was like, do you know anybody in LA? I'm like, well, not really, but I got a point at 20 friends. <laughs> it was uh, a little bit nervous coming in, but everybody was great and helped me out and made me feel comfortable right away. Oh, what a shot. <laughs> It's a good group down there that welcomed me in, and I appreciate it. You know, now I'm just one of the guys and having fun coming to the rink and playing hockey. <laughs> the Kings have been in existence since 1967, and while many of the game's greats have been a part of the franchise, the team has never won the Stanley Cup. A four decades long drought the Kings yearn to end. That's why they brought in Mike Richards. This player, to me, represents all that's right about sport, whether it's Gretzky or Larry Bird or, or Magic. I still believe that when it gets down to the nitty gritty, it's gonna be those guys who believe in the right things. They're gonna be there when the real wars start. And I think this kid plays the win. I think the biggest thing that Mike Richard has that no other players has is he's won literally everywhere he's ever played. So it was very important to get a player of that caliber that we know the bigger the moment, the better he is. We play Phoenix twice in a week, right? We gotta make sure we're better than Mike Smith, so don't be around. Let's go in here and let's try and score, right? 
This has been an up and down season for the Kings. They fired their coach after 29 games and brought in veteran Daryl Sutter. Let's go. Currently in seventh place in the Western Conference, the team is just two points ahead of tomorrow's opponent, the Coyotes. Prize is still over there. After a scorching start, Richard's scoring has tapered off since missing eight games in December with a concussion. Here. Ah, but his struggles are not alone. As a team, the Kings ranked last in goals scored. Oh. The last month and a half, two months, it's been a little bit frustrating for me personally and um, as a team too. But my dad always says, if it's not going to go in, you must, have to, you must not be working hard enough. So it's, uh, it's just a matter of keeping at it and, and playing hard and not getting discouraged. With hopes of kick-starting the anemic offense, the Kings recently called up two rookie wingers, Dwight King and Jordan Nolan. Richards was assigned to be their center, their shepherd. They're just going to wrap it, defense keep it going, weak side winger come across. Well, they're skilled players and they're big, but chemistry is such a big thing in hockey. As we play together more and work with each other, we're just going to get more confidence and eventually start playing better together. Great work today. This is just a read here. As you guys get to play together a little more, you can go right there. Can I jump in a bit there or no? No, you can't jump in there. Okay. You've got to worry. As soon as you start going down, where's that puck going to go? That's where you got to look to get the puck to the net. Yeah. Job, Mike, directing traffic, making sure that we're, we're doing the right things, playing from above, puck gets moved, you're reading it, you're going right to the net. That's just about execution there. Thanks, guys. <laughs> Richards and the rookies head out. Enjoy your afternoon. Done with hockey for the day. Lucky for you guys, it only rains 10 days a year here and you got one of them. <laughs> it's 2 p.m. on a rare rainy day in Southern California. Mike Richards and Arnold are driving to an appearance at a local radio station. Few people come to Los Angeles hoping to become less famous. But after six years in the glaring Philly spotlight, Richards welcomes his new place on the celebrity food chain. You have A-list celebrities, and then a hockey player would be D to F-list. You see Jack Nicholson and three or four different people that are a lot more well-known. In Philly, I was having trouble going to a Phillies game um, without being recognized, which was maybe a little bit much. I mean, it's different here. You're not the big dog in town, which is nice. The Lakers are winning every year. I think LA just gets so used to winning. But what people don't understand is uh, how much LA is a, is a hockey city and like the Kings just as much as Philly would like the Flyers. You have arrived at your destination. We have Mike Tell Richards us. and Luke Robitaille in studio oh, here locally in Los dog. Angeles. Yeah, Say all hi. hour. Oh, good. In the locker room. What's up? Hi. Do you know where I go? What is your name? <laughs> Mike. Uh, Mike, what's your last name? Richard. Richards. Oh! <laughs> oh, you're on camera. I'm sorry, I'm no Christina. Nice to meet you, Christina. I apologize. No, I'm used to seeing good. you with your helmet. It's <laughs> Christina. <laughs> that wouldn't happen in Philly. We are inside the locker room with Mike Richards and Luke Robotan. I was told to dress nice because there's going to be cameras around. I mean, look at me. I mean, how far is this going? Today, and then it ends tomorrow night after the game. So 30, okay, well, that's 36 not hours. Uh, I get it. Yeah. 36. There you go. There you so go. 36 <laughs> hours with Mike. So yeah. have you done something different than you not normally much. would? Uh, I mean, last time I think they did Nicholas Lindstrom, who Luke probably knows as like the perfect human being. And <laughs> then they come to me, and it's just going to be like ratings down. <laughs> uh, Mike, we talked to you a couple times now. You came in and hung out uh, before the season started. Do you think it's fair that people continue to ask questions about this offense? Does it feel like it's coming um, around? Uh, it's hard work to score goals in this league. If it, if it wasn't, everybody would do it. And you know, some teams win on offense, and some teams win on defense. And with the team that we have, we're, we're going to have success. 
Are you acclimated? Are you an L.A. King? I mean, how did you react when you heard the news? And how long did it take for you to kind of accept what had happened? When it happened, I think I was uh, shocked and um, angry and um, didn't really know what to think at the time. But everybody's treated me extremely well. The city of L.A. has welcomed me and I've been having fun here. But walking in here today, I was asked who I was and who I was here for. <laughs> I don't want to mention we'll anyone's fire. names, we'll but right uh, now. What me? I just like, oh, so uh, where do I go? And I was like, well, what, what's your name? It's not you. Mike. You're picking up some Rihanna Last name? Yeah. Uh, Richards. So. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Mike is going to leave us, but we're yes. going to roll through the locker room. Okay, I, I apologize. No, it's all good. I was just joking with you. I've been to a ton of your games, yeah. too. I'm sorry. Yeah, it's all good. Nice meeting you. Yeah. It's 7.30 p.m., 24 hours before the game versus the Coyotes, and Mike Richards has one last item on his agenda. Dinner with his teammates Drew Doughty and Trevor Lewis. Crispy rice, spicy tuna to start? Sure. Can I get four pieces of the yellowtail sushi? Spicy yellowtail roll. The New York special? Yeah. You guys want to play a game for these last two pieces? Uh, he's a lot of fun off the ice. When you have chances to hang out with him, you know, go for dinner or whatever it may be, he's a lot of fun. Hopefully you don't have to wear those glasses anymore then. <laughs> Buddy, if you only knew what style was. <laughs> yeah, you're the worst style. You're the worst style in the league. Right, right. <laughs> Look who's over there. <laughs> Wanna join? Yeah. <laughs> Wait a minute, 20 minutes. Were you? you were there for 20 minutes over there? We'll get one more of the same. Okay. same. I'm sure you don't want to order the last two things on the menu you haven't had yet? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh, I knew it. Victory. After stuffing themselves with sushi, there's still room for a satisfying treat. Oh, thank you. At the end of the day, Richard shares dessert with his teammates, as well as his best friend. He loves ice cream. Save the rest for later. Too much, you'll get sick. And with that, Mike Richards and Arnold head home. Tomorrow is game day. Seven forty-five a.m. Game day. Mike Richards and Arnold take their morning walk on the beach. The critical matchup against the Phoenix Coyotes looms. Any game from now on is going to be the biggest game of the year for us, and we have our sights set on Phoenix. At the morning skate, Coach Daryl Sutter makes final preparations, while Richards continues to acquaint himself with his new line mates. You gotta go to the net, no? You gotta get, you gotta get to the net. Whoever takes a game lightly at this point of the season is gonna lose. Especially when you're playing a team that's right below you in the standings and in your division. 4.30 p.m. Richards picks up teammate Justin Williams for the 30-minute drive to Staples Center. Two and a half hours before game time, the team arrives. Richards taking his final steps before lacing up the skates. The Kings and Richards know what needs to be done. If they can't score, they can't win. Come on, boys. All right, here we go. Come on. Let's go, boys. Let's go, boys. Let's go. Shoot the puck, Gail. Come on, boys. At 7.40 p.m., Mike Richards wins the opening faceoff. For the Kings and Coyotes, it's game on. Nice, nice. With the standing so close and the stake so high, both teams are eager to make an early statement. Suck. Just four minutes into the game, Kings captain Dustin Brown speaks first. Moves it over on the right side, and a hard check thrown by Dustin Brown. Sick play. He's down on the ice, is Rusty Klesla. He's still down. Doesn't look good. 
It takes all of one face-off for Coyotes captain Shane Doan to offer a rebuttal. Dustin Brown and Shane Doan drop the gloves right off the drop, so Doan trying to stick up for his teammate. Two captains. You don't see Dustin Brown dropping that often, but he was willing and able on this one. You know, sometimes it's just a message, and I think both teams respect what happened out there. All right, Brownie. And with that, the game's ferocious tone is cemented. Minutes later, a collision in the crease ignites the contest's second altercation. Now we get the goaltender in a scrap. He jumps on Andre Kopitar. And Jonathan Quick now wants to enter the fray. He's left his crease. Oh, the f scared faster than me there. That was the quickest three strides I've seen in a while, huh? The game is feisty, passionate, physical, and above all else, vitally important. I don't know how he saw that. In other words, a classic Mike Richards kind of game. What Mike Richards has, no other player has. He's like a grinder, but then yet he's got the talent of a superstar. He works hard, he makes hits. He's a heart and soul player. He'll grind on you. You don't get anything for free. It's one of those things you want a player to be when you're playing with him, but playing against him, it's, it can be a pain. Richards gets hit hard there by Hansel. Ah. Taking offense to the hit, Mike Richards instantly challenges Martin Hansel, an adversary who is seven inches taller and outweighs Richards by almost 40 pounds. Richards gets a punch in. My first year junior, I was given the advice that you, you can't tell other people to do it unless you're doing it yourself. So if you're not hitting or working hard, you can't expect somebody besides you to do the same thing. You just try to lead by example as much as possible. You see the Kings happy with the reaction of Richards. So if you want intensity, they're getting it tonight at Staples Center. As the first period winds down, Richards serves his fighting major in the dressing room. After four fights, 40 penalty minutes, and no score, the Kings reach the first intermission sufficiently motivated. The second period awaits. As the second period of this scoreless tie begins, Mike Richards heads to the penalty box to serve the rest of his fighting major. But he's not ready to forget the feisty first period quite yet. Chris, I got a word when you get a chance. Should he not get the extra for the hit before that? I probably wouldn't have fought him if he got a headshot. The second period looks like a microcosm of the entire King's season. Same can play! Their intensity is excellent. Go! Go! Their defense unyielding. Go. Their goaltending exceptional. Among the league's best. In the offensive zone, though, it's the same old story. Despite throwing puck after puck at the net, neither Richards, Go. his rookie line mates, nor anyone else on the Kings can light the lamp. You go hot, you go cold, and sometimes the net looks like it's a soccer net, sometimes it doesn't even look like you could fit a puck in there. You would think the hockey god's got to be with you at some point, so if you work hard, it's going to come eventually. With four minutes left in the period, the Coyotes break through. Cross ice pass, picked up, shot, score! As the Coyotes makes it 1 0 Phoenix. A power play goal puts them up 1 0. When you're averaging just over two goals per game, being down one is an uphill climb. And frustration begins to set in for the Kings and their new emotional leader. Hey, what the f are you watching here? 
He just drags me down right to the fing net. No. What's that? Stand on your feet. Get away from it. You're fing awesome. We get a penalty against the Kings. Richards gets unsportsmanlike conduct. Richards takes his second trip to the penalty box, and the second period ends with the Kings still scoreless. Moments before the Kings head out for the third and decisive period, Richards makes one more plea to the team. Let's go, Brownie. Come on here, come on here, let's go. Come on, come on. Let's go, same way, same way, we got one. We got one, I know come on, let's go. But the third period mirrors the second for the Kings. Go! Go! Opportunities are presented. He shoots and a save. Liberty couldn't jam it in. Come on! And opportunities go unrealized. Hey! Can you leave it? Richards right side in deep and Brown to Richards and it went wide to the left. And in front, covered by Smith. Richards fails to capitalize on a precious power play chance. And in the game's closing seconds, he and the still scoreless Kings are down to one final opportunity. Snyder going inside. Mike Morales. 22 seconds to go. Back to the blue line. Richards shoots just wide. Rebound. Williams throws it in front. Goes puck. Downey took a swing at it. He didn't get it. 12 seconds to go. Interference. Interference against Dustin Brown. Wow. Do it. Just like that, the Coyotes catch the Kings in the standings. It's nothing new. We've we've struggled pretty much the whole year, and uh, you know, again, we got to find a way to score goals and win games. This one hurts. We came in um, obviously expecting a win and you know, it was starting to get frustrating um, not scoring goals, but you know, at the end of the day, we let a team below us get closer to us. For Mike Richards, the 36 hours ends the same way it began. Still playing hard, still not scoring, still leading by example. As his dad taught him, if it's not working, it just means you're not working hard enough.